morning friends welcome to another cozy fall vlog i'm very excited for this vlog and this day because we're going on a cozy solo fall adventure together and doing some coffee shopping book browsing small town wandering and just having a fun self-care autumnal day i was up very very early 4 30 didn't like get out of bed until like six um which is not normal at all very very unusual but it's because i'm very very excited <laughs> and have a lot going on through my head and tomorrow i am leaving for a six day road trip with my parents and i've just been trying to mentally prepare for that and then yesterday was a heavy heavy <laughs> editing day um getting a youtube video up and editing and scheduling reels on instagram and trying to get ahead on like fall content game things so i feel pretty good about that i still have another video i'm editing and want to like get finished but i know that might be very very ambitious we'll try and maybe work on it like as we're traveling we will see but i've had such a lovely slow morning waking and rising with the sun which is such a rare treat for me since i'm not much of a early morning person by any means but on the days where i do wake up early it's nice to romanticize your morning a bit and having access to seeing the sunrise at my parents this morning amazing amazing and i spent some time on the porch it's chilly here it's like 54 degrees last i checked my weather app we're in northern pennsylvania upstate pennsylvania as i like to say and it's much much cooler here than it is down by where i live in southeastern pennsylvania <sighs> so i'm definitely feeling the fall, cozy fall vibes already. I can see leaves on the road and the sidewalk. So first on my list is I need to get dressed. I need to pick something for the weather, which, hmm, do I wear jeans? Because it is going to get warmer to later today, but I know I'm not going to be out all day. I'm going to try and come back before lunch. So I might just try and wear jeans, maybe. We're going to just go full on like cozy fall mode, I guess, with our outfit. And we're gonna go try a new coffee shop in town, which I'm really excited about. I mean, I've grown up in this town and there used to be fun coffee shops when I was like a teenager and a lot of those just disappeared. And then slowly there'd be new coffee shops coming back in my 20s and now there's like a ton of coffee shops and there's one that opened up it opened up in 2018 and I never heard about it until now, but it's in an old mansion. So our town, the high, my high school I went to, our uh, mascot was a millionaire. The historic district downtown where I live is called Millionaire Row and it's all these old Victorian houses and it's where all the, the millionaires, <laughs> the rich people uh, lived back in the 19th and 20th century. And now a lot of those houses have been converted into like apartments for college students down in that area and not really like single homes at all and this place this coffee shop is in an old mansion i was reading their history on their website and i think they the mansion was built in 1890 i want to say so i'm just excited i love when there's restaurants and stores in old historic buildings that just gets me going <laughs> and i feel like i haven't been in a coffee shop that's like in a homey setting like they're so hard to find at least down where i'm at where there's all these like modern you know minimal like <laughs> industrial kind of coffee shops so i'm really excited it looks so it looks so cozy there's a huge wraparound porch there's insides you can like rent out different rooms for events in there and it just sounds like a great place for the community so i'm really excited it's called backhouse cafe and tea room or something so we're gonna go to backhouse cafe i'm gonna get dressed and let's go
guys, I got a, gosh, what was this called? Spinach, tomato, feta quiche. And it was the last one, it looks so good. They just warmed it up and brought it out to me. And the coffee's really good, yummy. Y'all, look at this bathroom. It might be hard to see because of the light, but <laughs> we're in a Victorian mansion, hello. This is also why I love coffee shops in old homes, because I can pretend I live here. So cute, look at this mirror. Y'all, my heart is so full. I didn't want to leave that place. It was so comfy. I had my own little nook in a different room where there weren't any other people because when I got there, there was just a lot of people chatting and coffee shopping. And then literally after I got there and ordered my drink and quiche, which was amazing by the way, a ton of people showed up. So I got there literally at the right time. And it's funny because I, <laughs> got here and had to go back to my parents' house and get my wallet because I forgot it. And I actually parked farther away the first time I came here because I wasn't really sure of the parking situation. I realized that there's a ton of street parking because they're like on a corner lot and just felt like that was a sign that I had to go home, come back to find, you know, a new parking spot and to beat the rush. Um, but magical place. The coffee was really good like really good. I feel like a lot of local independent coffee shops, the coffee just isn't good. And I think it has a lot to do with the syrup because I'm a latte girl and I like my lattes a certain way. Um, and I got a hot caramel oat milk latte and it was super yummy. I really want another one. Ooh, maybe I can convince my parents to stop here tomorrow morning before we go on our trip, but wow. Cozy vibes all around, free Wi-Fi. It was a little awkward when I like first got there because the barista girl like did not acknowledge me. Like she acknowledged me with her eyes, but she wasn't like, can I help you? Like I had to initiate like the transaction of placing my order and it was really, really awkward. Not, not good first impressions, but the food was amazing. And I believe I saw the owners and one of the co-owners, it's like a husband and wife team brought out my quiche and was super nice. And yeah, great vibes. If you're ever, in Williamsport, go to the Back House Cafe and Tea Shop. Amazing, amazing, amazing. All right, now I'm gonna go to a bookstore, our local bookstore, independent bookstore, Otto's Bookstore. They claim to be the oldest in the US, although the building is not the original building. I was trying to read up on their history on their website, but there's so many different bookstores, I feel like, in the U.S. that claim that they're the oldest. You wouldn't think in the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania would be, like, the oldest bookstore. You'd think, like, Boston or Philadelphia or, you know, a New England town. So I think, you know, there's always a caveat when you say the oldest bookstore. And actually, I feel like literally one of the oldest bookstores is in Bethlehem, PA, which is, I went for a work trip and there's, like, this bookstore that was originally opened by the Moravians because Bethlehem's a heavy Moravian area and that's the reason we went there to go to the Moravian archives that's a side tangent but the bookstore there claims to be really old and they opened in the 17 like mid 1700s and it's the same building so I would I would say they're definitely the oldest bookstore that has like stayed in the same location <sighs> okay let's let's go do some book browsing the leaves are starting to change I've been seeing a lot of trees that are like this and it makes me so happy Yay.
wanted to get the cute autumn ambiance in the background, but <laughs> the way the lighting situation is going, it's not, it's not going well. All right, friends. So my camera died when I was in the bookshop. Otherwise I would have vlogged so much more because after the bookshop, I went literally next door. There's like this gift shop. It's called Gastonian Gifts and it's been there since all I can remember, like my teenage years, I remember going in there with my friends and just, you know, rooting around and exploring. And the lady was so nice. She was talking to me like the entire time I was shopping and said that they have like 80 artisans, you know, in her shop, which I just love. And I love supporting local businesses and local artists as well. So luckily I found a few things in there on top of my trip to Autos, so I guess we can have a little a little fall haul of sorts. So at Autos, I got a cozy mystery, guys. It's called Now You See It by Carol J. Perry, and this is part of her Witch City Mysteries, which there are many, many Witch City mysteries. Marriage isn't the only thing new in Lee Barnett's life when she's tasked with a hauntingly dangerous assignment as program director for Salem, Massachusetts local station WICH TV. Witch TV. So cute! So we're in Salem. I love Salem. And this is what got me. Her first subject is the new is the brand new Salem International Museum, slated to be a location for traveling blockbuster exhibits, starting with seafaring New England. From research to collecting artifacts of Salem's long ago days as a shipping capital, the project is a challenge. But when the driver of a truckload of antiquities turns up dead under a pile of fall leaves, it's not quite the kind of challenge Lee expected. We got museum, we got artifacts, we got people dying in leaves. I'm just, I'm excited. I'm going in with this with medium expectations. Now that I know how Cozy Mysteries operate, I am still trying to figure out what Cozy Mystery authors I enjoy. So if you have any favorite autumnal Cozy Mysteries that you love, share them down below. I'd love to check them out. Maybe Cozy Witchy Mysteries is what I need to like gravitate towards because I just love anything witchy and speaking speaking of witchy I have my bag of books. I love this color of Barnes and Noble's uh, membership bag that we got this year. It's literally the perfect shade of like rust. Like I love this so much. So I brought two books with me to take on my trip for for my road trip and one of them is another cozy witchy mystery called In the Company of Witches by Aurelie Wallace. I heard about this through Morgan Long's book club on her Patreon. It was a option to vote on for the fall time uh, book club pick and it did not win but when I like clicked on it and saw and read the the plot and the cover I was just like adding this to my fall TBR immediately. Look at this cover. I love it. I love it so much and it's a duology I think so there's a second book after this if I really love this, it continues. When a guest dies in the B&B, &B, she helps her aunts run. A young witch must rely on some good old fashioned investigating to clear her aunt's name in this magical and charming new cozy mystery. I think we're in New England again, guys. For 400 years, the Warren witches have used their magic to quietly help the citizens of the sleepy New England town of Evanfall thrive. There's never been a problem they couldn't handle. Then Constant Graves dies while staying at the witch's bed and breakfast. At first it seems like an accident, but it soon becomes clear that there's something more sinister at work and Aunt Nora is shaping up to be the prime suspect. I love it. I'm really excited to read these. And I also brought The Spell Shop by Sarah Beth Durst, which is another Morgan Long book selection for her book club. And this actually won, so everybody will be reading this in her book club. But the purple, purple, Edges love it so much, so I'm excited to see how I will enjoy this. A lush cottage core tale full of stolen spell books, unexpected friendships, sweet jams, and even sweeter love. Keela? Keela has always had trouble dealing with people. Thankfully, as a librarian at the Great Library of Elysium, she and her assistant Kaz, a magically sentient spider plant, have spent the last decade sequestered among the Empire's most precious spell books, preserving their magic for the city's elite. Ooh, yeah, I'm excited to read this one as well. So I just have so many fun witchy 
magical books to read this fall. And I am gonna do like a fall reading list video when I get back from my trip, so make sure you're subscribed to catch that when that comes out. But I did get a few things at the Gastonian Gifts place. There was so much cute stuff in there. I f have officially gotten my first wet it eco-friendly towel. I always see these, I always love the patterns and I decided to buy this one because this one is literally so freaking cute, so autumnal. And the lady said they literally just got in like that morning and there were a ton of other patterns, but this one was the cutest. So let me know if you guys use these towels and how you like them. And then I also got a t-shirt. It was just hanging randomly in this back corner. I've mentioned before that I am trying to get more comfy graphic tees because I just feel the most comfortable in them and I want more things that express my personality and to wear like off duty when I'm not at work. So this, this is perfect, right? I love this super cute mushroom celestial pattern and it's like oversized and a really soft fabric and it was only $15 so love love this i did not try it on so we're just gonna pretend that i know that it fits and i think it'll fit i love oversized baggy shirts and i could wear it to bed or you know casually or tucked into jeans to dress it up a little bit okay here's what it looks like on i love this it's like the perfect oversized fit and of course it's like hard to kind of tell because i'm also wearing black jeans but if i ch tuck it in like that like, but this is like the kind of like fit that i'm going for and Yay, how exciting. Oh, I also forgot to mention that it's First Friday in town today. And if you have not heard, heard of a First Friday, it's, it's a concept in the US where towns, it's like a community event that towns host the first Friday of each month, usually like in the warmer months, so like summertime, especially in more like historic districts and towns, small towns probably. And you could have anything from like art exhibits and openings to music and vendors and food trucks and stores are open and they have sales going on and specials and it's just a nice way to enjoy your community and get out and do things. And we used to go to First Friday like, Again, when I was a teenager downtown, and that's probably when I went to all of those stores back back in the day. But they're having first fr first Friday tonight, which sounds super fun. I am not gonna go because I gotta get <laughs> prepped for our trip tomorrow. But how stinking fun! It's also gotten a lot warmer since I talked to you guys this morning, so I'm definitely gonna have to get out of get out of my jeans at some point. Um, but. I think I'm gonna relax. I did want to go thrifting this afternoon, but honestly, I'm gonna have to like, just like set a boundary for myself because I, my energy, like today I have felt so full. Like when I got home, I just felt so happy and so full. Like I really just needed this, this day, like a couple hours to go out to a coffee shop by myself and do some, you know, YouTube stuff. I made a new banner <laughs> for my YouTube channel and it really feels like a reset that I've been needing for a while, like literally all year. But yeah, I'm just, I'm just really happy and I don't want to like push myself energy wise by just doing more and more and more, especially when I need to get ready <laughs> tonight for our road trip and figuring out all that fun stuff. So I think I'm just going to chill at home for the rest of the day maybe do some reading. I, I am gonna do some video editing as well. And then we're gonna go see my brother and his family. They just moved into a house a couple months ago, which is, it's like less than 10 minutes away. They used to literally live up the street. Um, so they were a lot closer and my parents could just walk up there and come back. And now they're a little bit farther out, but we're happy for them. And I just love their property. I will try and take some clips tonight to show you guys, but they have some land and they're out in like, they're not in the country, 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 country. They're not out in the country, country, but they are kind of in a secluded, isolated area, which I love. So just gonna go there and manifest my own little, you know, cozy home as well. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. Now you run back to the ball. Hi. You're on candy camera. Oh look, now he's posing for a picture. He knows. 
it's much later friends i have obviously <laughs> changed and we went to go see my brother and his family which was nice got to enjoy the scenery and then my mom and i ran some errands and got dinner and just you know prepping for our road trip which <sighs> i feel at least less stressed now that we have things figured out with all of driving and directions and logistics so now i am packing and getting ready to leave so exciting times exciting times so i hope you enjoyed coming along for this cozy fall day in my life honestly today was so fulfilling i made an instagram post <laughs> kind of sharing just how refilled creatively refilled i feel today and i just had many moments of just tears today because of just how happy i was um just feeling very at home in myself take time off use the pto schedule some trips have a staycation get out of your comfort zone these things are frightening but on the other side is joy and growth and you will not regret the other side once you move through it so i'm just feeling very grateful and excited and hopeful for the future as a very <laughs> philosophical ending to this whole thing but just literally having a nice little morning to myself a solo kind of self-care focused date it does so much so i hope you enjoyed this video and let me know down below what little thing you're gonna plan for yourself to take care of yourself tonight this weekend next week this month what kind of self-care are you doing to fill your well because you deserve it friend we all deserve it all right with that said i will see you in the next one Bye.